Hi, welcome all of you back to the next session on my training. Uh, and today I'm going to show you about how a supplier user, supplier site cannot be created by any user. Fine, all the users cannot create a supplier site. So that we are going to see in Fusion applications. Whereas it is not the case in EBIS. EBIS, any user can create a supplier site. Here it is not so. An additional restriction has been imposed upon this now. So let me go on and have a look at it now. So we'll now uh, first log into the system now. <clears throat> so let me create a user now. <clears throat> So let me first of all log in into the system, into Fusion applications. I am working on release 12 now. So let me go to the sysadmin now. <coughs> sysadmin is uh, done by, you click on the navigator icon on the left hand side, and then go down, and then here, you click on the more icon, and then go to the security console. I am going to the security console. <coughs> From the security console, I will now create a user now to test the supplier. I go to the user area, the second tab region, and then click on add user account. So let me add it. I will not say test underscore. I will not say sub one. I am not going to create. Yeah, I am going to test the supplier now. I test sub one and then click on it. I will now put my email ID over here now. So now I have 60 and then go there. The system automatically prompts the username as a first name dot last name. So let me remove the dot now. And if you forget to remove the dot, you cannot remove the dot anywhere else at all. What is it? Then go there. Let me give a password now. And then let me repeat the password, confirm the password also. And then I will now add the role. So here now, if I click on add role, let me first add an employee role now. <laughs> employee role. So there is an abstract role, I'm adding it. And then an application implementation consultant role. This role will now facilitate all the setups actually. I'm now doing it. So click on our role, click on add role. <clears throat> and then let me give the procurement manager role also. Uh, I will now click on it and then click on add role. I'm adding it now. Then I will now give the procurement manager role for making the purchase orders now. Procurement manager. Bring it. And then put the aura role. And then let me give the supplier manager role for creating a supplier actually. Supplier manager. So this facilitates creation of all the suppliers now. And then choose the Vara role over here now. So supply manager facilitates creation of all the roles. So he has got all the basic roles for uh, doing all the activities now. And then this is not done. <clears throat> so employee, application implementation, consultant, procurement manager, and supplier role. So with which we will now save the user now. I click on save and close. <clears throat> so the password, everything has been set now. So test underscore sub one is a user which has been created from sysadmin. And as soon as you complete it, you go there and then uh, and do the uh, uh, import user uh, thing. Fine. There is a concurrent which you have to run fine for syncing the system setups which have been made in the sysadmin into the user systems basically. Even though it's not required, it is uh, recommended by Oracle to at least whenever you make any new ones in the sysadmin or otherwise, uh, whenever you're modifying any users, you run this concurrent. Click on the scheduling concurrent. Oh, there. It is the import percentage, user percentage, role percentage, the one, give a tap. So let me find out the user, the role. <coughs> so let us run it. I click on OK. So import user and role <coughs> that you're going to run it. So we are not going to have any parameters for this. In fact, comes up it, by which it will not run it. So test underscore sub one is now ready. It has been created from sysadmin. We will now see what, how uh, we can do that. now. And then he has been given a supplier user, a supplier manager role. So he can very well create a supplier also. So this concurrent is now submitted. So wait for it to complete now. <clears throat> no blocked. Okay, doesn't matter. Sometimes it comes as blocked, but it will be working properly. All right. So let me log out and then uh, log in into the new user which I just created now and sign out of it. And then let me log in now. <clears throat> Click on confirm. So test underscore sub one is the one. Test underscore sub one. I'm going over and then I will now put the password now. Then go there and log in. I'm logging you for the first time. In EBIS, the password expires upon first login here. It is not so. The password never expires at all. The expiry controls are somewhere, somewhere different now. Now we go there. I will now go to the procurement area and then go to the supplier creation. Click on the procurement. And then I will now go to suppliers and then let me create a supplier. So remember, this user was created under sysadmin. Sysadmin users can create a supplier, but not a supplier site. Supplier site is not possible. We'll go there, click on this now, click on the navigator icon and then click on, click on create supplier. So I'm going to create a supplier now. 
So supplier name is test underscore sub one. I'm creating it. So here the business relationship is spin authorized. So task operations corporation. I'm giving all the defaults and then click on create it. I'm not going to create a supplier now. Test underscore sub one is now getting created. This supplier is now going to be fully done. So after having done this, you go there. It is now giving you the data quality management is now giving you uh, uh, the matching suppliers which are available here. If I ignore the match, the DQM's recommendation we can ignore and then go ahead and then create a new supplier now. Test underscore sub one, creating it now. So we can go ahead and then create it now. <clears throat> so the supplier is now come, fine, go there. And then go to the payments, at least make one of them as a default payment. You go to the payments, just like in Avis, you go there. Enable check, and then you put a tick mark on this now. So the check is now enabled, go there. And then click on save, <clears throat> on that. Let us now go and then create an address now. I click on save, it's now save. So go to the address, let us now create an ad uh, address now. So click on plus, let me get an address now. And the address is not a creation now. So we can get an address, we can get a contact, but not the site. For site is not possible. I will now say test underscore EDDR1 and then leave everything blank. Okay, fine, go there. Uh, uh, and then uh, uh, no, we are not creating this, uh, this thing. So this is the one address name we are given. The remaining things are not mandatory. Fine, click on save and close by which what happens. The address underscore address one. Okay, we had to make one of them. So make the ordering as well as remit two. And remember, if you enable all the three, we can have only ordering and remit two or not the RFQ. Fine, go there, remove it now. Fine. So ordering and remit has been enabled. Fine, click on save and close now. Record my record. Go there, it's not done. So it's not done. Fine, go there. Go to the contacts now. If I click on the contacts, I have no mind. You click the contact. Fine. Click on plus now. Let me get a contact. <clears throat> and then I will now say test underscore sub one. Fine. Uh, I will now say uh, test underscore uh, contact name is what? I will now say Nana. <clears throat> okay, fine. Go there. I given it and then uh, I cannot add any other information, doesn't matter. Fine, click on save and close by which whatever the contact is now created. Fine, go there, click on there. So the contact is now created. <clears throat> now let us now go and then try to create a site. So it's not done. So changes are done now. Fine, now go on the try to create a site. Fine, click on sites and then I want to create a site. So when you go to the site, the plus icon itself is not coming because what happens? He has to be a procurement agent actually. So otherwise, he's not a procurement agent. What happens? He cannot have what happens the site contact. Even though the procurement manager role is given, he has to be made as a procurement agent as a buyer. So that's why he's not coming. I cancel it. Let us not try to give a procurement agent role. I click on it now. I click on it. And then go there. And then I click on setup and maintenance. And then I try to add him as a procurement uh, agent actually. So the task is manage procurement agent. Manage percentage. Rock percentage. Agent percentage. And then enter in now. So we'll not try to make him as a procurement agent. Click on the procurement agent. He must be a procurement agent to create a site actually. Fine, go there. Click on this. Here, the BU itself is not having an association. Oh, so now drop down and then try to add to any BU now actually. Fine, click on search. We are not having any association. Fine. You go there. We'll not try to add team to any other BU. Fine, go there. Something. Some BU. I'm putting it now. Click on OK. The agent name is always represented by the what happens? The last name comma first name. So here we are given sub one fine as a last name. Test underscore sub one, sub one comma test underscore. If you put it, the agent will not come at all. I'm oh, sorry, sorry, I'm not making query. Sorry, sorry, I'm not doing it. So I have to give a plus now. I click on plus and then let me create it now. I was not trying to create actually. I click on plus. Here you drop down and then choose one of the BUs. Fine, I am now choosing one of the BUs. The agent name is uh, test underscore sub one. So sub one, <clears throat> fine, uh, comma test. If you give it, what happens? It will not be available at all. So there is no such agent available at all. So test one underscore sub. Uh, sub, I think, find a way, whatever it is, fine. Go there, try to find out. You won't be finding it because you don't have any association to be you, because of which we cannot make him as a procurement agent. Now, we will not create a user through manage users. One so the users who are created by a manage users uh, can very well be given all these things. Now, fine, go there. So, I'll now go to manage users class, manage percentage users class. So, here in uh, Fusion, we can create users at uh, three different places employees and users can be created. This has been employees and users can be created by a manage users as well as employee and users can be created by HRMS. I click on manage users task. From here, we will not create a user now. So click on what happens, plus now. I click on the plus, is coming as a search person now. There I am going to create a user now. So the last name is test underscore sub two now. Sub two, <coughs> I am putting it. The first name is the test underscore. Go there, middle name is not there. Fine. Email, I will not put the same email, doesn't matter. Go there. 
uh, uh, I will not give this my go there username. I will not put the username now. Fine, it is a test underscore sub two. I'm missing the right. Test t test underscore sub two is the one. I'm putting the user it will find go there. And then person type is employee. I'm not going to make him as employee. Go there. So once when you make an employee, the only BU combination is coming. I will not put it as one of the BU fine. Go there. M60 BU. I'm going to put it now. M60 BU. Uh, and then business unit. I how uh, they uh, created once. I'm not using those things now. Fine. Go there. You know that. So he is now going to be tested as sub two. Fine. He is now having it. So job M60. I will not go on and give a job. I will also sit him to another job still as a junior manager. Grade is not required. Department also, I'll put it M60. Right. M60 is a department. Go oh, there. Location is M60. <clears throat> and then I'll give you a lock one location for him now and go there. So the locations, everything has been given now. So this is employee, test underscore S sub two, which is having a first name of test underscore one sub two. He is having an association to ledger legal entity. Right. He is now having a ledger legal entity association. Uh, okay. Test underscore sub two is now getting created. Okay, go there. And then we will not go. The roles I cannot. We can even add a role from here. Otherwise, what happens? We will go to the system and then add a role. So test underscore sub two is now getting created. Find test underscore. Click on save and close. So a user created by a managed users has got an association to ledger view combination, and then he becomes responsible. He is now eligible for creating a supplier site. Find click on save and close now. It's not done. <coughs> save and close is not done. Now we will now query the supplier and then change the password because the system allocates a default password for him now. So we will now go to sysadmin and then change the passwords. Fine, it's not done. We click on the navigator and then let us now go to sysadmin now. Go there. Click on more. <coughs> My here is will be there. We go to the sysadmin area. Oh, forgotten. I have forgotten more thing that what happens. I have not given the IT security manager. So because of which he is not having the sysadmin role. So let me go and then give the IT security manager and then come back now. Test on the system. And I have forgotten to give that IT security manager. So let me log into the other one and then give it now. Fine, it's a mistake. So we will now log out and then log in through. This thing. If you don't give the IT security manager, he cannot have the security console. I go there. M60. I will not go there. I will not choose the other one. Go there. Click on it. I will not put the password for the M60. <clears throat> Let me give for this user. <clears throat> I will not directly give for sub two itself. I go there. I will go there and then no, I go there. And then click on the more icon. <clears throat> so sub one. I will not go to the sub two and then make edit on this one. Go there. Go to the security console. Security console is has been. Let me go to the second supplier and go there. Let us now go to the second supplier. It is uh, test underscore sub two is the one. So the first supplier <clears throat> we have created uh, test underscore sub one. He cannot you he cannot do anything because he was created by a sysadmin. So he is not eligible to create a supplier site, but supplier can be created. Now to sub two, we are now going to give him all the powers and go there. So first of all, go the edit and then let me change the password. Reset the passwords. Let me reset the passwords now. So manually, because system allocates certain passwords, so I'm now manually resetting the passwords now. Go there and then do the change of the passwords now. You know, I click on reset passwords, so it is not done. And then I put some. Uh, what happens? The save and close is not coming. Fine. Put some identifier over here. Then what happens? The save and close will be coming now. I click on save and close now, so it is not done. <coughs> now click on edit now. Click on edit. And then here I will now uh, have a look at it. With we will now give all the roles to you now. Why not? Let's click on add role. So we will now give all the roles to him. First of all, IT security manager. So IT security manager, we have forgotten that previously. IT security manager, I'm going to give it now. Choose it. IT security manager has been given now. Do you remember this user was created via manage users now? And then application implementation consultant. Application implementation consultant, AAZ role, I'm going to give it now. So click on the Vora one, click on add membership and then, and then I will now give the procurement manager as well as supplier manager. There. So procurement manager is required by procurement manager. Now give it now. Procurement manager, I'm going to give it now. Vora as well as the supplier manager. <coughs> <I'm not done. coughs> supplier manager. So supplier manager, I'm going to give it now. So make him as a supplier. Uh, supplier manager must have been added or what? Not coming. Uh, supplier manager is here now. Go there and then give it now. So supplier manager, I'm going to add it now. Of what I'm adding it. Now. Click on add membership. Let's now have a look at it. But what are the roles we added now? So click 
ക്ലിക്ക്ഡ് ഓക്കെ ക്ലിക്ക് ഓൺ ഡൺ നോ ഗോ ഓൺ ദൻ ഹാവ് ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഫൈൻ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ ഗുഡ് മാനേജർ ആപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ പ്രോക്യൂർമെന്റ് മാനേജർ സപ്ലൈ മാനേജർ एवरीथिंग हैज बीन ऐडेड टू हिम नाउ ഓക്കെ ഇ ഇസ് നോ വെരി ഗുഡ് വെരി വെൽ റെസ്പോൺസിബിൾ ഫോർ ഇറ്റ് നോ സേവ് ആൻഡ് ക്ലോസ് ദ ലോഗ് ഇൻ ഓഫ് ദ ടെസ്റ്റ് അപ് ടു ടെസ്റ്റ് അപ് ടു യൂസർ ആൻഡ് ഗോ ലോഗ് ഇൻ നോ സോ ഹി ഇസ് ഹാവിംഗ് ഓൾ ദ ബേസിക് ഫെസിലിറ്റീസ് ഓൺ ദിസ് നോ ഇ ദ ഹാവ് ഫർഗോട്ടൻ ടു റിമൂവ് ദ ഡോട്ട് ആക്ച്വലി സോ ഇഫ് യു ഫർഗോട്ട് ടു റിമൂവ് ഇറ്റ് uh you will not be you will have to put the dot actually uh, uh, not remove the dot the system creates a first user dot so, so first name dot last name i click on it so to remove the dot we can even go via uh, manage users task so through manage users task we can do it now and go there click on the setup and maintenance and remember those employees who are created via sys admin we cannot remove the dot if you forgot it or otherwise you not be able to do it now fine go there i will not say go to manage users now manage users manage users enter it now i am not going to manage users and then there i can remove the dot fine click on it so the dot which has got created can be used only for the legal employees no fine they are all called legal employees because they are having an association to ledger and legal entity so i will not say uh, the it was a test and then give enter now so in the test sub 2 sub 1 what happens if we are not entered so test uh, sub 2 is only visible sub 1 is not visible because he is not a legal employee so through the manager users task we can only query the uh, man, uh, or about the legal employees only so he is a legal employee because he is having an association to ledger at bu fine the uh, b uh, le and bu so he only can date so whomsoever is you have created via assist admin cannot be queried anywhere else except assist admin and then assist admin not allow you to edit it all okay come on now here what about now make it remove the dot now sub to underscore here what about you can now see a dot fine now make it big now just again i'll now make the screen big 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 Oh God! The username is not having any dot at all. Fine, good. So data on this and this code. I thought that there will be a dot. No, fine. The dot is not coming previously. What happens? It is maybe uh, in the recent versions they might have what happens uh, modified the dot actually. Maybe it has undergone a what is called a patch actually. Fine, good. So no need to worry at all. Fine. So the dot is not coming here. Cancel it. And then click on done. So it is all done now. Let us now log in with this user. So I'll go there. Click on it and then let us log in. so go there and so log out and log in with this new newly created user i am going to log in now click on confirm now here i will not go there and do it now my uh, it's a what i call test underscore sub2 with the one go there and then give the passwords now so we will not log in test underscore sub2 we are logging in now we will not go and then try to manage the supplies actually directly go there you go to the procurement uh, you go to the procurement and then go to the manage suppliers suppliers uh, right go there go to the suppliers and then let us now query the test sub one which i created just now let us go and then query the test sub one click on it and then go to the manage suppliers area manage suppliers <coughs> and then test underscore sub one is the one query for it now let us edit it now select it and then click on edit now we are given a procurement manager role now you go to the site and now see what happens he is still the plus mark is not coming because he is not what happens he is not a buyer a procurement agent is equal to buyer now so let us go there and then make him as a buyer actually here now so he give a cancel now we will not make a buyer now he make him as a buyer so only when you make him as a buyer it will be possible for us to work up on it now and go there so we are going to make him as a buyer click on it and then we will now go to the uh, manage uh, so sir upon maintenance and then go to the manage procurement agent manage procurement agent is a buyer go oh, there so manage percentage procurement percentage buyer percentage enter it now you go there what is the mistake here manage manage buyer manage procurement agent sorry manage procurement agent actually not buyer actually innama you you talk for here my granddaughter also wants to have a look at it i guess Okay. So manage procurement agent is the one. I click on it now. So here <coughs> we are going to see this now. So go there. Let us now give a add. Fine. Click on plus and then I am going to add it now. Mm-hmm. I will not click on plus. I will now put the M60 over here now. Drop it down. I will put the M60 now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh God. Oh God. Couldn't you wait for me? Go oh, there. You know, give the M60 okay now. The M60 is the business unit. Agent is the last name, comma first name. It is sub two. Go there. Go there, ma. It's a decay ring. Okay. 
So last name comma first name the way you have to get now by sub two <coughs> and then comma space take away. It will be coming automatically. Previously we were unable to query the first one. So sub one we are unable to query because you know having a ledger legal in the association, we are querying it, making my and then I make the default business unit as this one fine go there. And then we are not saving post. Now what happens? He is now a buyer actually. Fine. He has no being associated with the business unit, and then the business unit is now having association to legal entity. So now the sub two is now a buyer fine seven close. Now he can create a site. So only buyers are eligible for creating a site as far as future is concerned. There is no such requirement in EBS at all. Now now he is now buyer. So let us go there and then try to create a what's called a site for him now. So I click on the home icon. <clears throat> Go there. Click on the procurement now. And then go to the suppliers now. Let me manage the suppliers now. I click on this. I will go to the manage suppliers now. Manage suppliers. And then it is a test underscore sub one is a supplier which you are creating it now. And test underscore sub one. And then click on search now. And then select it and then now click on edit now. This time when you go to the site, you'll be getting it. Go there. If you go to the site directly, you'll be getting the plus symbol now. Fine. Vandichi, we got it. And click on plus now. So we got the plus. Now we can create a site. Go there. It does not create a site. The plus symbol was not coming. It dropped down. We have only one address which has been created now. Put the address over there now. And then the address gets automatically copied to the site. You can even overwrite the thing also. Fine. Go there. So let's make it as what site one. Now. Site one. And then go there. <clears throat> it is not done. Go there. And then after after you save, then only what happens? These tab regions will be coming. Fine. Click on save now. So once you save it, the remaining tab regions will be coming. You go there and then click on the site assignments. It's a must now. If you don't give the site assignments, what happens? We cannot create a purchase order at all. Fine. Go there. No, see this now. Fine. You go there. I will now go to EBTR and then open it up. I have not given a site assignment now. So if you are not given a site assignment, if you go and then try to put it on a purchase order, it will not be visible. Now. <clears throat> go there. Click on this procurement. So go there. Go to the procurement and then go to the purchasing area. Click on the purchasing. Now the supplier site assignment is not there. Fine. If you go there and then do it now, fine. Click on it and then uh, click on uh, create orders now. When I go and then get order, you cannot see the supplier site assignment. So test underscore sub one will not be visible as a supplier at all in this uh, navigation actually. But what happens? The procurement BU as well as the requisitioning BU will be coming because we has already made as a buyer. So since we have made as a buyer, the procurement BU and requisitioning BU are coming. If you put test and then uh, wait for it now once again, test and then wait for it. Is not trying to train, it's push now, it's not coming at all. That is the reason that what happens, we are not given a site assignment. Fine, go there, we will not give a site assignments. Go to the site assignments, it is equivalent to multi org access control of this. Now, fine, click on plus. We can associate multiple operating units here. Whom's wherever he is a buyer, then only he can be added. He is a buyer only for the one BU, so there is no coming up over here. Now, client BU as well as the build BU will be coming. So, once it is done, what happens, you go there, M60, I am going to put it now. <clears throat> go there, and then put it over here now. And then the location, built location also, I'm going to put it, TM60 underscore, <clears throat> lock one, I'm going to create now, fine, go there, I'm not done. So the remaining will be done by the financial team, basically. Fine. Now, the site assignment is not done. Apart from that, what happens, you always go to the invoicing area, and then uh, uh, you give the payment invoice currency as well as payment currency for the supplier, it will not default onto all your labels. Invoice currency is all payment currency also is not. So if you give this, they will all be defaulting. You have to put the appropriate currencies over here, fine, go there. It's not done. I click on save and close by which the supplier site is now fully created. So to create a supplier site, what happens? He must be a buyer. There is a procurement agent must be defined. Otherwise, it's not possible. Fine, go there. The purchase order. I'll not give a cancel now. Now itself, I'll not try it again. Test it now. Fine, go there. Test and then wait for it now. Fine. Come on, come on, come on. Mandichi, we got it. I click on it. And then it is not done. So the supplier, supplier contact, we are not done the contact or are not associated to contact actually probably. So that is the reason that is not coming. Let us now go and then associate the contact over here. Now fine, click on the contacts now. You see, here itself we can now see in this place, uh, yeah, yeah, what's called a yellow triangle is coming. What happened? The contact is not having an association to your site. The contact has got no act. The site has got no active contacts. So you go there, go to the contacts. And then now we will have to add address to this. Now. Fine, go there, click on it, select it, and then click on edit now. We had to add address to it now. So, but since the, the site was not created, we are not going to do it. Now we can very well do it now. I go to the contacts <coughs> and then associate it. I think this can be done even without the site. I think contact address is a, a basically a relationship. Not sure about it. <coughs> go there and then click on it. You know, click on actions and then go to uh, select and add. Now. I think that is you can do without even a site actually. And there's only one address available here. Click on apply and then go. Fine. The site is now, the person is now sitting on this contact actually. The site, the person is now sitting on this contact. So we added it now. I click on save and close. This time when I go on then, uh, create a purchase requisition or other purchase order. You can now see the contact also coming up automatically. I click on the create order. 
So for getting the uh, uh, procurement BU and then the requisitioning BU, the, by, by the procurement agent is a must. And then that is also a must for supplier side actually. Test. And then we'll now go there. Producer, the contact has come. Come on, come on, come on. Jim Boomba is just come now. Now click on create. The purchase order is getting created. So this completes uh, this demo on this now fine. Uh, it is on uh, what happens? Supplier side creation. Supplier side creation. Your person must be a buyer. This is not so in EBS now. Right? There's a. Uh, uh, there's been discussed with the higher levels and then Oracle has made this restriction actually. So when uh, a financial team is now creating a user. That user normally will not be having an association to BU and then LD combination, but he can very well do all the financial transactions, just like any business. And any user can do it without a user employee association there. So here also you can do it. But supplier side creation, what happens? He must be a user who have been created via managed users or via Hacharamas. If a user is created by Hacharamas, also what happens? He'll be having an association with these two. Then what happens? He becomes eligible for a supplier side creation. I hope that this video is somewhat helpful for you. Fine. Do meet in this next video. Please click on the subscribe button as well as by the side of the subscribe button. There will be a bell icon. You click on it, and then once when you click once, it will give you an automatic uh, alert to you whenever I load a new video. Right? So, okay, fine. Thank you. Bye. See you in the next video.